Hey guys, and today we're going to show you how to use Replit, a very useful tool to create apps using AI in minutes and then publish it with your own custom domain and analytics in seconds using Tinyhost. You need very little programming experience for this, but if you have some, it's very useful. So let's dive in and show you how. Okay, so I'm logged into Replit now and I'm on the core plan, which is the upgraded from free plan, because what we're going to use is a feature called Replit Agent which is their new experimental AI builder and only available on that plan. And so here you see a giant prompt box as you see with any other tool, AI tool. And I'm just going to say, build me a static calculator app in HTML and JS. And you can actually improve the prompt here, which gives it even more instructions for the LLM, which they like the more instructions, the better. And so this elaborates on what we put in earlier and then you click start building. So you see experimental warning sign here, click continue. And then what Replit does is it actually starts thinking about the plan of execution, what it's trying to build before jumping straight into it, unlike the other LLM. So it's a lot more sophisticated. There's a lot more things going on under the hood and it's determining the best approach now. And it's gonna ask us, um, if it's okay, what it's found is okay. So here it's saying, you know, I'm going to create a web-based application um, we'll use Flask with JavaScript, which is not what we want exactly. Um, so I'm going to go back and say, no, use React only. And so this is cool because it, before it jumps down, you know, any certain parts, it can basically ask you and verify that it's going down the right route for what you want to build. So it's going to come back and say a new plan of execution. So it's going to use React instead of Flask. And it also asks you if you want to add any other features here. So calculation history, memory functions, we're just going to leave it as it is and approve the plan. And now you'll see it actually writing code. So you again, don't need to interact with any of this. But what it'll basically do is it'll start going through and creating the different files and dependencies that it needs to build it out. So again, it just gives you a preview of, of what's going on, but you can basically go away and come back uh, in a few minutes. It will be ready and it'll even fix its own bugs for you. Sometimes it'll basically figure out that there's a bug in its code. Um, and if it doesn't execute properly, it'll fix it, uh, which is super cool. Now it's installing a bunch of dependencies and making sure that everything works. It's connecting us to a database, but we don't need that at all. So it's quite sophisticated in this pattern. We're trying to build something quite simple. And then it tries to run it and it takes a screenshot of what it built, which is super cool. So it shows you a preview. And then what it does is it will load like a mini browser and build it for you. So this looks super cool. Uh, it's even got some really cool CSS and button kind of styles. So it's a very high quality app is produced. So now we have this, which is on Replit. What if you want to add our own custom domain, you know, password protector and add a bunch of other features such as analytics. That's where Tinyhost comes in. So with Tinyhost, That's where Tinyhost comes in. So Tinyhost is a simple tool that helps us actually publish this app. So it accepts a zip static output. And in order to do, to do that, you just click on tools down here and you open the shell command. And this is like a terminal view. And we just need to run npm run build, which is a standard command for a React app to generate a build ready for production, ready to deploy. And what you will get is a dist folder here now because it's basically built it. So finally, we just need to click this three dots and download as a zip. And this will download the entire repository as a zip, but we only need the dist folder in here. Cool, so here's the zip extracted 
and we just need a zip folder. So I'm just gonna click on the disk, right click, compress, and then we have a disk.zip. And then we head over to Tiny and literally just drag and drop this disk here. And let's call it SciCal. And here you can set your commands uh, or configuration options like password protection, capture emails if you need, hide it from search engines, and a lot of other things. But I'm just going to click publish. And that's it, literally in the seconds, the exact same app that we had on Replit is now live with a shareable link, which you can send to anyone you want, which is super cool and powerful. And then you can also publish it to custom domain if you want. And it also has built-in analytics. So it will show you instantly how many people view it and check it out. That's it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel because we're planning on bringing a lot of related content. Thanks and I'll see you next time.